A group, the Treasured Point of Light Foundation, is educating women in rural Nigeria about oral health, child marriage and menstrual hygiene, despite economic challenges. President of the group, Damilola One Bamuhi, emphasizes the importance of healthy lifestyles, warning against unsafe alternatives that can lead to health complications like infections and infertility. You can see the community where we are. They don't have access to basic social amenities, really. And when we came to do a survey, many of them use um, rags, old fabrics for their monthly periods. And really, it is not hygienic. We know it, but they don't have choices. All they have is what is available to them. So we have come to extend you know, a hand of fellowship to them by bringing sanitary pads. At least we're giving each person at least four to six sanitary pads to last them for a while. We're talking about how they can keep themselves, you know, hygienically fit during the menstrual flow. The flow is something that happens to everybody. Whether you are rich or poor, you cannot escape it. But then, how do you take good care of yourself to, you know, avoid infections? How do you ensure that um, those days of the month are safe for you, you know, month in and month out? And then there are people that are even elderly then that still don't understand their monthly cycle. In fact, some don't see issues as issues. Maybe so, like um, somebody said that she has a flow for like 10 days. And then um, under 10 days break, then it comes again. It's not a normal occurrence, but they just feel like ah, maybe I go contact on my low, my Jeko are okay. But then we have to sister them, let them know that it is an issue, then they need to go see a medical practitioner. The group distributed sanitary pads to 700 children in Ogun State, emphasizing the need for a shift mindset and government enforced laws to protect girls from societal and cultural barriers. If you know the harm you know, attached to marrying of a child and even the intricacies, you would stop it. And also, if the government puts uh, policies in place for defaulters that do such, when there are laws governing, you know, child marriage practices, and you know that if you do it, come back and hear about them, definitely, you will desist from doing it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.